while we've been looking at working with interactive components and variants to create more complex interactions in Figma, that's certainly not the only way that we could create more complex interactions within prototypes. Certainly working with other frames and doing things like overlays would be an alternative way of doing something like a drop menu. And I wanted to show you a kind of more complex way we might uh, simulate an effect that's pretty common in e-commerce applications. And that would be to have a product detail zooming screen. And so the idea being that maybe when we roll over or click on an object or, or image, we would be able to zoom in and get a closer look at that, like a product detail zoom. And you'll see that commonly on mobile websites and website applications and things like that, where you could actually zoom in on something. So let's simulate that using a frame overlay that has some scrolling within it as a way of doing that. So to do that, I'm going to actually just create a, another frame. I'll just do that over here on my artboard over here. I think I'm gonna make that about 220 by 220 in size. 222 is fine. I could always you know, reset it right here if I wanted it to be precise. And I wanna put an image within there. So I'm gonna copy this other image out over and I could drag that into this frame here to have another version. And I want that to be a lot larger. So really I should have had a large version of this because I'm gonna lose some, uh, some detail here by having these so small, but I'm gonna drop that into there to have a kind of large version of this. The other thing with this image is I, I don't ultimately wanna be able to see the other watches and I have them all in a sprite sheet. So if I didn't want that for this particular image, one thing that I could do with this is go to the image itself and choose the crop option to get rid of some of the other images that are part of this one. I'm just gonna crop that down to just this large version and then drop that into the frame that I wanted. I'll zoom back in on that so that we can see that. I'm gonna call this frame the zoom frame. And so it's going to be a sort of zoomed in version of this. And what I wanna do with this particular watch is allow this to sort of roll around as well. So once we're sort of in here to see this, I wanted that to um, I wanted that, that particular frame to allow for zooming. So if we go, uh, and, and like scrolling and panning, if we go to our prototype mode for that, one of the things we can do is enable overflow scrolling on there so that the user can like um, drag around that content. So what I'm gonna do is just enable both horizontal and vertical scrolling uh, within the prototype mode on that, this particular frame so that we can scroll around that frame. Perfect. Now I've got the frame that I need to actually show the zoomed in version of this. And I just need to place that into my design as an overlay. So to do that, I'm gonna go back into the design mode here and decide where I want to uh, you know, enable that from. And so I need something in this design that can sort of be a hotspot or something I click into to actually get to the zoom mode. So I think maybe I'll have it where if the user touches the watch itself, they'll get the zoomed in version of that. So if you actually touch the watch, you'll, you'll get to see the zoomed version. And so to explore that, I'm simply going to create a little oval within here and inside of my um, content here, I'm going to just draw that oval in and it'll be a kind of hotspot if I touch the you know, maybe the center of the watch uh, here then will enable this functionality. Um, I'll name that simply my zoom hotspot as an example here, and we'll take the opacity of that down to zero so that we don't actually see the, the that, uh, that uh, shape. I'll go to the prototype mode now, and what we'll do is we'll link that over to this zoomed frame that we have. And so when I tap on that, for example, at the moment, it's gonna to navigate to that frame. I don't want it to navigate to it. I want it to open it as an overlay. And rather than on tap, I'm gonna choose this touch down option for that. The other thing I wanna do is make sure that this is going in the right place. And so where is the overlay going to be? So right now it's gonna be in the very center of our um, mobile phone sort of application window. And that probably is not quite in the right spot. So instead of centered or one of these other, you know, top left, top things, I'm gonna actually use the manual positioning of that, which is awesome because I can put that overlay exactly where I want it. And in this particular case, I want it to be sort of 
right here in the middle of all of this stuff. So I'm gonna place that right kind of where I want it um, over the watch itself and I can kind of position that exactly where I want that overlay to go. So when I touch down on that hotspot, we're gonna open the zoom overlay. That's exactly what I want. And then the other thing I wanna do is be able to close that overlay. So what I'm gonna do is click on the interaction um, node right here to then bring that back to my regular artboard. That again is going to be a close overlay option in this case, because it was open. And we're gonna do that on touch up, meaning I've released my touch, I've released the mouse on that particular thing. And so now we'll end up closing that particular overlay. Let's see if that's working. I'll go back here and uh, to my artboard and we'll go ahead and choose to present and preview uh, the functionality of that. And what I should have now is when I click on this and touch, we'll get the zoom. And because I've enabled horizontal and vertical scrolling, I'm able to zoom in and move around on this to see some of the details of that particular product. And then I could let go in order to return back to my original state. So uh, this can also be useful if you had an overlay where you wanted you know, like to go through something and be able to drag around and see some other stuff. So not just for zooming and panning um, uh, on a product detail, but you can imagine other use cases for this, but kind of a nice, um, more advanced, if you will, um, interaction to simulate within our e-commerce mobile application. So there you go, working with a overlay on your artboard in order to simulate that effect. Uh, just another one of the cool things that you can prototype inside of Figma.